All right, boys. All off season, we've been waiting for this moment. This is your chance to go out there, take that field, and grab the... Oh, hey, hey, I'm good. All good. All good over here. What? Wait, who are you? I'm you, from the future. And I'm here for this moment, this, this speech that you're about to give. From the future? Well, then you could tell us who wins the game today. Well, I can't reveal that kind of information for fear of disrupting the space-time continuum. Uh, I'm simply here to advise. Uh, you, you won't even know I'm here. Okay, but why are you all banged up? Are your injuries from the rigors of time travel? Uh, it's... Please continue. Okay, look, we know this is Atlanta. This is a glorified home game for Georgia. <laughs> oh, yeah. A lot of red and black in those stands, but to be honest, uh, location is not even in the top 20 of our issues, so... <laughs> at Arizona, at Washington State, you boys have played in hostile road environments before. This is no different. <clears throat> ah, just <laughs> jump in there real quick. It, it is going to be a little different. They managed to squeeze 91,000 into the old swamp there. 91,000? But that's more than the capacity of the stadium. Yeah, you know, I think some of them actually brought their own lawn chairs. Hey, Georgia lost 15 players to the NFL, okay? You think they can just replace that level of talent? Yes. The answer is yes. This isn't even a top three team in the SEC East. And their quarterback? Do you honestly think that the Dan Mullen would leave an athletic, put the team on his back, playmaking phenom on the bench for two years if he had him? I think not. He's a game manager. Oh, oh, oh. hey, 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 yeah. So uh, the good news is you're all gonna be on Sports Center this coming week. It's also the bad news. And Bo Nix, where are you, Bo? Bo, this is your moment. Oh, you might just wanna. Skip, skip this part? Yeah. Oh, come on! He finally has a good offensive line. He's focused. He's having... Just skip it. Okay. They've got a baby-faced new head coach whose first game in the big leagues is against a top 10 team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Such a rookie. Yeah. It's not like he'd have his linebackers play like a loose zone so they could jump a slant round on the second and goal play to win the game. Nope. <laughs> is anybody writing this down? Okay, wait, so you have the power of time travel and you used it to come here? What, what do we lose by three touchdowns or something? <laughs> uh. This episode was brought to you by Renaissance Bank. Understanding you.